King of Space. King of Space. USS Callister. So I have a little bit of a confession. This is the first episode of Black Mirror that I have ever seen. Uh, Black Mirror has been on my to-do list for a while and uh, it just Long story short, it's really hard for me to find the time to do things that I'm not also going to do videos of because that's just that's how I maintain um, the output that I do. Um, it's self-imposed, but the amount of, of free time you know to watch just whatever is limited. But the new season came out, and normally when a new season of a show that I've been meaning to catch up on comes out, it makes me go, oh, this makes it even less likely I'm going to get around to it because now I'm even further behind. But Black Mirror is an anthology show where every episode is a self-contained thing, so. It's perfectly fine for me to start with season four. So this was my first one. I have no basis to judge it against any other episode of Black Mirror. I don't know if this is good for the show, if this is bad for the show, judging it completely on its own without having comparisons for what else has been done on this show. I will be talking spoilers, so that's your warning and I like this a lot. What I really love about it is it's not just the premise, because the premise is it's pretty good. It's it's all down to the execution, the the layers of it, and the way the insidiousness of the situation creeps in on you. Because it opens up with this very cheesy, you know, kind of oh, bit of a riff on Star Trek original series. Uh, okay, fine, and then you you meet. Um, the character of Daily in real life. I, I really love Jesse Plemons, by the way. I need to say that now in case I forget to say it later. I love him as an actor. I think he's really great and he, and he can do so much. I thought he was good in Breaking Bad and I loved him in Fargo season two. And this just, this reiterates to me, he is really one of the strongest actors who's working regularly in television as opposed to film. Um, so anyway, you, you, you see him in the real world and you go, oh, it's a little bit of a sad sight. Oh, so this is an escape for him. Okay. And you see a little bit of that darkness. And you go, oh, okay. So he's kind of taking out his issues on the on the characters in the game. I mean, that maybe points to some psychological damage, but I, I suppose it's a healthy outlet. But then, <laughs> then the new girl gets copied and put in. And pretty much as soon as she woke up and was looking around, was like, where the hell am I? It started to sink in for me, like well ahead of the explanation from the other characters of what was going on. It started to sink in of just, oh, oh, and realizing the extent of the damage that this man does and knowing because if there's any lingering doubt that you might have that maybe he doesn't fully appreciate what it is he's done, that's gone when you get the backstory on Walton and his son, Timmy, which, oh, crap, man, that, oh, that was legitimately monstrous. And it's, it's, it's really just, it's, it's, it's what I have been told this show is, which is it's existentially terrifying. It's not scary in terms of, ooh, there's a thing creeping around the corner that's gonna get you. No, it's, it's scary in terms of the thoughts it makes you think. But at the same time, there's a lot of really wonderful, very funny moments. Like, I love them just starting to chat with this big mutant crab monster thing because, you know, it's the girl from marketing. Oh, how you been? Or I love that they're they're asking about themselves back in the real world. I'm still the intern? Really? And I, so there's a lot of great little funny moments as well, um, but it, the, it doesn't pull punches when it comes to the letting it sink in just how horrifying the core concept of this thing actually is. So that's all really well done. And like I said, it's the build, it's the layering, and they, they got, the show got me to care. I was rooting for these characters that it is flat out blatant, are not real, don't exist. They are well-programmed algorithms. They're ones and zeros, but I cared. I cared a lot. And the ending could have been cheesy. In terms of they they get out and they're on the net but it gets away with it largely because that wasn't their goal like they didn't know that was going to happen i love that their goal was just like we just want to die we just want to not have to be here anymore and that really fed into again sort of the existential dread like this idea of this horrifying 
petty god that you're at the whim of and your only way out is to die, but he won't let you. So if you can find a way to die, you win. So like they, they effectively, they won no matter what. So allowing the, once they're through the wormhole, even if they died, I still would've been like, huh. So the fact that they then got out as a bit of a surprise to them and to me as an audience member, I was like, Oh, that was nice. And they have that little button moment with the with them just encountering somebody on the net, just another player, and, and sort of acknowledging, like, yeah, they got out of that, you know, definite, serious, hellish situation, but they're not in a perfect world. Let's not kid ourselves about that. It's the internet. And I kind of like that. It, it ended on, like, just the right note. It wasn't so sappy that it undercut what came before, but it wasn't so cynical as to take away the triumph of their escaping and their victory. There's almost nothing I don't kind of love about this. I mean, there's a... Like, if I were to nitpick, um, while I do like the idea of uh, a character basically blackmailing themselves the whole you know, inappropriate pictures on the cloud thing. I don't, I mean, it's fine. It works as a narrative devo device, but it also kind of makes me go, eh, I don't know. Was there another way we could have figured out how to do that? Or uh, like the the one other thing I suppose um, is her like luring him into the water, you know, to go swimming. It was a little awkward, a little cringy, but it still wasn't that bad because the, the episode played up that like, it is kind of cringy. She's desperate. And also there was still tension in the scene because you're like, oh God, did she just overplay it? Did he just figure out that something is up? So it, it still managed to maintain tension throughout the scene, even though I was kind of like, oh, are we really going there? But like I said, those are like tiny blips of, uh, of minuscule nitpicks. This is... I was really kind of blown away by this, and I, I definitely intend to watch the rest of uh, season four. I don't know what pace I'm going to be able to watch it at, but if I can do it at, at anything, you know, resembling a, uh, a decent pace, I will do uh, reviews for the remaining episodes, um, because you kind of have to deal with each one in isolation unless you're doing an overview and giving very short reviews for each one. But honestly, this one, at least, it was so good, it deserves its own review. I wouldn't want to cram this in with five others and do, like, two minutes a pop. No! This deserved full recognition. I really, really was impressed by this. And I'm and I'm sure once I get through this, if I like any of the other episodes as much as I like this, I'm sure I will go back and see earlier seasons of Black Mirror. Probably unlikely that I'll do videos on that, because, like I said, not topical at all anymore. But, yeah, I'm... I'm glad that I was like, you know what? I'm allowed to jump in on this on season four. Glad I did, definitely dug it. So first episode of season four of Black Mirror, USS Callister. Have you seen it? I hope so, I talked spoilers at you. What'd you think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Do all the stuff, likes and subscribes, and I got a podcast, and I got a Twitter feed, and links for all that stuff is down below. I'm still taking questions for the q and I'm gonna do once I hit 10,000 subscribers. If you wanna take part in that, drop a question here or hit me up on Twitter or on, or on email. And until next time, this council's adjourned. Thank you.